ile wako enda kwa huko njia uangalie simu you chat the way you want ole wako hiyo simu ndio itakuja kukuzika hiyo simu yenu unaongea ndio wengine ukikufa nitaomba watu watu wakuja kwa matanga yako na simu mambo ikiendelea wana chat wanaongea katika somo letu la injili ninasema nini Yesu alipomaliza kufanya kazi ya kawaida tunaona aliwaambia wanafunzi wake waende ngambo ya pili na alipoambia wanafunzi wake waende ngambo ya pili nini ambacho kilifanyika yeye mwenyewe alienda mahali faragani na nini ambacho kilimfanya akaenda mahali faragani tunaambiwa alienda kufanya nini kuomba alienda kufanya nini after mambo ya nini ya kufanya ka Wakenya mpo Wakenya mpo Mnajua meaning ya KBL 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 means Kenya Breweries Kenya Breweries what Kenya Breweries Limited inatoa pia baada ya kazi Brudani Brudika na nini simumalize baada ya kazi brudika na nini? Hiyo ndio lifestyle aske. Baada ya kazi brudika na nini? Leo Yesu anatuambia nini? Baada ya kazi brudika na nini? Na maombi. Yeye alipomaliza kuom, alipomaliza kufanya kazi, jioni ilipofika, alienda mahali faragani akafanya nini? Akaomba. Kwa sababu hata kama yeye alikuwa mwana wa Mungu alijua hakuna vile ambayo ataendelea kuwa na nguvu kama haconnect na nani na Yesu Kristo na wanafunzi wake wanapokuwa wakienda nini ambacho kinatendeka wanapofika katikati ya bahari mawimbi inaanza kufanya nini kukuja and Jesus was aware of that That is why aliacha kuomba akaanza kutembea akienda mahali ambao walifanya nini wali kuwa. Na walipomuona nini ambacho kilifanyika most of them wali doubt most of them hawakuamini nani ni ye ni Yesu na wakawa na shaka wakamjaribu Yesu na nani mwenye alimjaribu Yesu? Petro. Akamwambia, kama ni wewe Yesu, niambie nitembee nikuje mahali ana u uko, si ndio? Petro alifanya nini? Yesu akamwambia nini? Njo. Vile Yesu alimwambia njo, nini ambacho kilifanyika? Petro alianza kwanza before that Yesu aliwaambia nini? Jipeni moyo ni mimi msioko jipeni moyo ni mimi msifanye nini msiokope jipeni moyo ni mimi mfanye nini msiokope kila mmoja wetu kuna mawimbi ambayo inakupiga katika nini maisha yako na wewe ni mkristo kila wakati unakutana na nani na Yesu Yesu anapokuambia jipa moyo usiokope do you believe in that most of us we don't believe that is why tunajiita wa Kristo lakini sisi ndio wachawi wa kwanza that's why tunajiita wa Kristo lakini hatuombi that's why tunajiita wa Kristo lakini badala ya kumtafuta Kristo tunamtafuta binadamu mwenzetu atupatie solution kwa maumbi ye, maumbi yetu now what happens petro started walking towards christ na fokasi yake ilikuwa on christ Alipokuwa ana focus kwa Christ alikuwa anatembea kwa maji kama ni nini ninji nini kenye kilifanyika mawimbi yakawa nini Petro akafanya nini badala ya kufocus kwa Christ akaanza kufocus kwa mawi nini yenye ilifanya 
alianza kufanya nini kuzama kuna pahali Paulo anaambianga wakalatia mlianza kwa roho mnamaliza wapi mlianza kwa roho mnamaliza wapi wengi wetu tunaanza kwa roho tunamaliza wapi na nini ambacho kinatufanya tunamaliza kwa mwili when we stop focusing on the christ tunaanza kufocus kwa mawimbi hapo tunamaliza kwa nini kwa mwili always focus on what on christ na ukifocus kwa christ utafanya nini hautazama katika nini maisha yako wengi tunazama na najua tunazama lakini hatutambui tunafanya nini tunazama nini ambacho kiliokoa petro petro alipokundua ya kwamba yeye anasa, anazama petro alipiga mayowe akasema bwana niokoe bwana fanya nini wewe unazama kwa mawimbi gani wengine tunazama katika ulevi tunajua sisi ni mawalevi lakini tumefanya nini tumenyamaza muite Yesu atafanya nini atakuokoa mwambie Yesu nifanye nini nishike mkono wengi tunazama kwa maringo we see we are the best we think we can conquer the world na tunajua tunafanya nini tunazama Hayo maringo yetu yanatufanya tuchukue watu wengine. Hayo maringo yetu yanatufanya we become so nini? Unajiona? Let me have my spell. Unazama. Muite Yesu afanye nini? Akuokoe. Nimesema hapa mambo ya zimu. Wengi simu zetu zinazofanya tunafanya nini? Tunazama. Naambia Kristo ukitoka kwa nyumba utaanza sahau simu yako utairudia. Lakini ukitoka kwa nyumba unaenda kanisani umesahau ba family ni umesahau Biblia wewe kufanya nini kuirudia tunazama katika simu tunatufanya ulimwengu umefanya nini umeharibika tunasema watoto wetu wameharibika kwa nini sisi ndio tumeonyesha kufanya nini kuzama katika nini masimu lakini hatutaki kusema Bwana nishike mkono nifanye nini niokoe Petro kama hange muita Yesu Kristo angezama Petro alikuwa kwamba anazama na yeye kufanya nini hakunyamaza. Alisema Yesu nifanye nini niokoe. Yesu alifanya nini? Alistretch mkono wake, akamshika, akamtoa katika maji, wakaingia wapi? Chomboni. Wewe jiulize unaposama katika maisha yako ni nani ambaye unamuita? Unapozama katika maisha yako Nje, unaona uwepo wa Mungu katika hayo mawimbi ambayo yanafanya nini? Yana kupiga. Wengi wetu hata tumezama katika imani potovu. Tunafuata imani ambazo sio za Mwenyezi Mungu na tulijiita wa Kristo. Tunafanya imani ambazo zinatutoa katika uhusiano wa karibu na nani? Na Yesu Kristo. Tunajua tunazama lakini tumefanya nini? Tumenyamaza. Siku ya leo Yesu anakuambia nini? Pika mayoye sema Yesu nazama nifanye nini ni okoe na kweli Yesu alimuokoa Yesu alipomuokoa walipofika jomboni nini ambacho kilitendeka na walipovuka wakafika nao walipopanda chomboni upepo ulikoma nao waliokuwemo ndani ya chombo wakamshuhudia wakisema hakika wewe umwana wa nani wa Mungu I like the English version Inasema they feared him and they worshiped walimuokopa na wakafanya nini wakamshuhudia kwa sababu gani ameona wameona yale ambayo amefanya nini ametenda whom do you worship today whom do you fear today That's the question you have to ask. Lakini yule ambaye ameona mkono wa Bwana, yule ambaye ameona nguvu za Bwana katika maisha yake, kila wakati atamuokopa Mungu na atafanya nini? Atamuabudu. 
tujiulize katika familia zetu wengine naabudu mali wengine naabudu tajiri wengine naabudu magari wengine na maabudu manyumba lakini tumesahau ya kwamba wakuabudiwa ni nani ni Yesu Kristo wakuokopewa ni nani ni Yesu Kristo hao watu walimuokopa akafanya nini wakomwabudu nani yeye our fellow human beings sometimes they want us to worship them they think they are our oxygen maybe because god has given them little blessings god did not bless you to be worshiped god blessed you so that you can use those blessing to bless what other people but most of us when god blesses us and we see the other one god has not blessed him or her tunataka tuabudu ndio tumtendee yale ambayo tunataka afanye nini atutendee my christian you are only created to worship god you are only created to fear what god na nini ambacho kinatendeka Walimworship wakafanya nini wakamfia na kwa yale makuu ambayo walikuwa wametenda walipofika ile ngambo nyingine watu waliletwa kwa Yesu ili wafanye nini wakuze tu hata pindo la nini la mavazi lake na walisema wale ambao walimkuza walipata nini uponyaji wewe jiulize ni uponyaji gani ambao unataka siku ya leo wewe jiulize ni nini ambacho Mungu anataka kufanyie Uwepo wa Mungu uko hapa na sisi siku ya leo. Uwepo wa Mungu uko katika hii masomo ambayo tumesoma. Uwepo wa Mungu utakuwa kwa Eukaristia vile nitafanya consecration. Ni Mungu gani ambao unamtafuta? Ni Mungu gani ambayo huu una, mtu anakwambia hakuna Mungu kwa hiyo church. The presence of God will always abide with us. Walio na masikio. Wasikie yale ambayo Mungu amenena siku ya leo. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Simame kwa sala za waumini. E Mungu Mwenyezi wa milele, tuajambe mbele yako siku ya leo. Tukisema ni asante kwa uwepo wako miongoni mwetu. Tukisema ni asante kwa ajili ya maisha ambayo umetupatia sisi wanadamu. Na we mwenyewe umetukumbusha ya kwamba tunapoishi hapa duniani tukiwa watu ambao tunaishi ule upendo wa mwanao ambao alituonyesha na sisi tuishi kama yeye. Kwa sababu unatambua kwamba tunapokupenda wewe na tunapompenda jirani yetu na juwekea hazina yetu mbinguni. Siku ya leo namkabidhi huyu dada yetu Esther mikononi mwako tunakuomba uipokee roho yake yale mazuri ambayo alitenda alipokuwa anaishi maisha hapa duniani yamwezeshe kupata uzima wa milele na kama kuna doa lolote la dhambi ambayo alitenda Mwenyezi Mungu tunajua kwamba we ni Mungu wa huruma kupitia hii misa ambayo namtolea siku ya leo mazishi imuondolee dhambi zake na dalala zetu Mwenyezi Mungu zimurehemu na ili apate ule uzima wa milele e bwana tunakuomba pia Mwenyezi Mungu tunaomba kwa ajili ya familia yake ambayo ameiacha nyuma tunakuomba e Mwenyezi Mungu endelea kuwasidishia imani endelea kuwatembelea katika mahitaji yao ya kimwili na kiroho na yale yote mazuri ambayo walitendea huyu mama yao hasa zile za kati alikuwa ajiwezi wawezeshe wao kupata zile baraka ambazo zinatokana kwa mzazi tunapowatendea leo mema endelea kuwabariki na kubariki kazi ya mikono yao na upatie uwapatie upendo miongoni mwao ili waishi na ule upendo ambayo Yesu Kristo aliweka katika maisha yao walipokuwa wanapatizwa e bwana tunakuomba mmekaribishwa kwa sala zenu Nitorona kwenda kwe deni wa wadani 
nituragwita ukorwa nebe ugututokoreria bururi bitu na makiri hide inerere siasa siukete ona idurano itare irakuhiriria gaide bitu maheda ayo no moni ebuturithia papa mwega batororetie kuri be gaide bitu nitu andu wathani wothe umaga kuri be ona muthenya wa umuthi no twaigwesh kingo yaku ati gai bitu tutare na eto tiriundu tungihota gwika kirathime mucio yo gai bitu ai neguo no maheda ayo kuringana no na esta gwetetwo nigetha ona mahe kumiriria ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
bwana tunamuombea huyu mtumishi wako Esther Wamboi Kife katika siku hii ya mazishi yake tunakutolea sadaka hii kwa ajili yake na kama alikuwa na madoa ya dhambi au alichafuliwa na makosa ya kibinadamu umsamee kwa wema wako na kuyafuta tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu Bwana awe nanyi inueni mioyo tumshukuru bwana Mungu wetu kweli ni vyema na haki tukushukuru daima na popote e bwana baba mwema Mungu mwenyezi wa milele kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu sisi tumepata kwake tumaini la ufufuko tunasikitika kwa sababu tunajua kwamba lazima tutakufa lakini natuliza kwa kuwa alitwaidia uzima wa milele e bwana uzima wa umini wako hauondolewi hau ila unageuzwa tu nayo na makao ya hapa dunia kisha bomolewa tunapata makao ya milele mbinguni kwa hiyo sisi pamoja na majeshi yote ya malaika wa mbinguni tuimba wimbo wa utukufu wako tukisema bila mwisho tumefikia kama wewe sio mzee na kama wewe sio mama ambao kuna mtoto ambao umelea tafadhali usimame e, bwana kweli mtakatifu na kila kiumbe kilichoumbwa nawe kinakusifu kwa haki maana kwa njia bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao na kwa uwezo wa roho mtakatifu unatia uzima na kutakaza vitu vyote wala uachi kwa kusanya watu kwako ili toka mauya ya jua hata macho yake wakutolee sadaka safi basi tunakusii e bwana usibariki dhabihu hizi tunazokutolea upende kusakaza kwa roho wako ili zikeuke kuwa mwili na damu ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliyetuamuru tuadhimishe mafumbo haya Usiku ule alipotolewa yeye mwenyewe alitoa mkate akakushukuru akakutukuza akaumega akawapo wafuasi wake akisema twaeni mle wote huu ndio mwili wangu utakao tolewa kwa ajili yenu cha kutumaini sina ila mwili wake Yesu Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akatoa kikombe akakushukuru akakutukuza akawapo wafuasi wake akisema twaeni mnywe wote 
Hiki ni kikombe cha damu yangu, damu ya agano chifu la milele, itakaye mwagika kwa ajili yenyu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maendeleo ya dhambi. Fanyeni hivi kwa kunikumbuka mimi. Damu yake na sadaka na kumbuka mateso ya huyo mwanao na kufufuka na kufa kwake mbinguni tunapongojea na kuja kwake mara ya pili tunakutolea kwa shukrani sadaka hii yenye uzima na utakatifu tunakuomba uiangalie na kikubali sadaka ya kanisa lako uliotaka kutulizwa nayo tujalie sisi nao lisho mwili na damu ya mwanao tuchaze na roho wake mtakatifu tuwe mwili mmoja na roho mmoja katika Kristo Ye yeah, atfanye stwe kwako sadaka ya milele ni tuweze kupata uridhi pamoja na wote ule wako. Pikra Maria mwenye heri mamu wa Mungu, Yusufu mmewe na mitume na mashahidi wako wenye heri, mtakatifu Teresa wa Avila, mtakatifu Yohana Msalaba na mtakatifu Tetsa mtoto Yesu na watakatifu wote ambao daima wanatuombea kwako. Tunakuomba e Bwana sadaka ya kufananisha nawe ilete amani na ukovu duniani kote ulimarishie kanisa lako imani na mapendo hapa duniani yani mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco na askofu wetu David Kamau maaskofu na watumishi wako wote pamoja na taifa lako lote usikilize kwa wema sala za jamaa hii ile hapo mbele yako hata sala ya watoto wa Esta wa Mbuyu Kife wanapomtolea hii misa ili Mwenyezi Mungu ampatie pumziko la amani e baba mwema kwa huruma yako wakusanye kwako wanao wote waliotawanyika popote duniani umkumbuke mtumishi wako Esta wa Mbuyu Kife uliyemta kwako kutoka dunia hii kwa kuwa alishiriki kifo cha Kristo kwa upatizo umjalia shiriki pia ufuko wake Siku ya ufufuko, Kristo atafananisha mili yetu na mwili wake mtukufu. Pia wapokee katika ufalme wako, ndugu zetu marehemu na watu waliaka dunia katika hali ya neema. Na sasa tumaini kujawa na utukufu milele katika ufalme wako. Ndipo utakapofuta machezi machozi yetu yote, maana kwa kukuona we Mungu wetu kama ulivyo, tafanana nawe milele yote na kukusifu bila mwisho. Tujalie hayo kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu aliye asili ya mema yote. Kwa njia yake pamoja naye na ndani yake, we Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Unapata heshima na utukufu wote daima na milele. Amina. 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 Sala 
aliyotufundisha bwana wetu baba yetu uliye mbinguni ufanye wako ufike utakalo lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupe leo mkate wetu wa kila siku utusamehe makosa yetu kama ninavyowasamehe na sisi walio tukosea usitie katika kishawishi lakini utuopoe mauguni e bwana tunakuomba utuopoe katika maovu yote jamii kwa amani maishani mwetu utuepushe daima na dhambi kwa ruma yako tusifadhaishwe na jambo lolote tungojee kwa matumaini kurudi kwake mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristo e bwana Yesu Kristo uliambia mitume wako na wachieni amani na wapeni amani yangu ustadhame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako mjalie amani na umoja kama ilivyo mapenzi yako unaishi na kutawala daima na milele amani ya bwana iwe daima nanyi tutakiane amani mtazameni Yesu Kristo ambaye esta kupita ubatizo wake na alipokuwa anaishi maisha hapa duniani alimsadiki ndio Kristo ambaye namuombea siku ya leo ampatie ule uzima wa milele na huyo ndio mwana kondoo wa Mungu ndoaye dhambi za dunia ili wa wote walioalikwa kwenye karamu ya Bwana Mwili na damu ya Kristo vitulinde tupate uzima wa milele.
kufanana na mwili wake mtukufu tuombe e, Mungu tunakuomba umjalie mtumishi wako Esther Wamboi Kife aliyefariki dunia atakazwe na sadaka hii na kuondolewa dhambi apate furaha ya milele tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu
sadaka na matega ambamo mtolea kwa ajili ya kuombea roho ya Esther wa Mboi Kife huyu Mungu ambaye mnamtumainia endelee kuasidishia ili mahali ambapo mmetoa msifungikwe kamwe na mwenyewe endelee kupatia Esther pumziko la amani na baraka za Mwenyezi Mungu ziwashukie na sikae pamoja na nyinyi kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu is good another time to get here to get here to go to the movie to go to the trip to the movie I'm going to go 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 to the Kote na mshoko kiawa gado, afutuli imani. Tomo kumi ya Yesu Kristo. Yule jia of the left, Esther wamboi kibe. But Esther wamboi kibe was born on 17th June 1948 as the fourth born to Lucas kibe Kamiri and Hannah Modoni kibe. She was sister to the late William Kibe, Salome Wanjiko, John Ngoge, late Teresia Washeke, and the late Philip Karanja. Education. Esther began her education in the year 1954 at Career Primary School. She proceeded to St. Anne's Lyoki for secondary, sorry, for secondary education, then Nyeri Hospital College for the nursing course. Church life, Esther was raised in a Catholic faith where she was baptized on 27th June 1948 at Lyoki Catholic Church. She received her first Holy Communion on 24th June 1960 and was confirmed on 1st July 1963. She has been a staunch believer till her death. Work, Esther started working at Kenyatta Hospital in 1970. She was later transferred to Kiambu General Hospital, where she worked until her retirement in the year 2003. Family life. Esther was blessed with five children, who are Lucas Kibe, William Kameri, Peter Kinyanjui, Dorcas Wangare, and Hannah Mudoni. She was also blessed with 11 grandchildren, Stanley, Kuria, Grace Ann, Tiffany, Steve, Mercy, Kibe, David, Wamboy, Ethan, and Miles. Illness. In the year 2018, Esther was operated to remove a cancer tumor which was growing in her uterus and healed well. On June 26th, 29th June 2021, she fell sick and was taken to Nairobi West Hospital where it was noted the tumor had recurred. She started chemotherapy and radiotherapy treatments thereafter. On 23rd July 2021, her health deteriorated and she was rushed. She was rushed to Nairobi West Hospital where she was admitted. On 26th July 2021, the family decided to transfer Esther to Empisha Hospital after a doctor's advice. However, she passed on at the casualty room the same day. Esther, you have fought the good fight, you have finished the race, you have kept the faith. We loved you, but God loved you more. 
May the Lord's name be praised. Rest with the angels. Wakife. It is well with our souls. Amen. kuna kitu tutarekebisha kidogo kwa hizo program zetu na kwa hiyo tumeandikwa 29 June mwaka 26 July hiyo siku alituacha yule mtu atafuata sasa ni yule atakusomea uh, tribute ya Dorcas hiyo tutasoma alafu vote of thanks God is good. Uh, we read in Dorcas tribute on her behalf. To the world, you are one person, but to me, you are the world. You didn't have much, but you always felt like we had everything. You didn't, have, you didn't leave millions in your bank account, but you left a legacy worth much more. You taught me love, patience, and endurance. You taught me how to pray, led by example. You praised me whenever I did, could and pointed out my mistakes with that little gentle voice. You encouraged me to work hard in school and taught me how to read and write. I still remember your voice as you read me bedtime stories. I think about you every day. I was devastated when you felt ill. In a matter of days, the smile on your face disappeared and was replaced by gloom. I remember I couldn't leave your side for one second. I will never forget that fateful Monday night when you said goodbye forever. The cruel hand of death had snatched you away from us. We miss you every day. I thank God for you and cherish the memories we made. I love you. Thank you. Bwana ni mwema na kila wakati tumsive Yesu Kristo. Uh, the one who will give you a vote of thanks on the behalf of Kives ni Akadia Skuria. Bere ni kushokeria Gai Gado ni kutuhe maam <coughs> miake yao the traikaria na ake. Uh, Tutijo na shigo siya kushokeria Gai Nato mwerile niwe kukwa tuwe kite na tumu hoe amu hile hadu hega kumatwini. Idhu othe netuwe yona idhuwe tuwe luka edo ine we are on a journey we are waiting for our day and we are all candidates of the day. Nato neza kia umwe sako mwapi hata wewe ni candidate. Uh, as a family, we want to thank you all for coming to celebrate the life of our mother. Our family can't express how much your generosity has meant to us during this time. Although we appreciate all of you, we want to specifically thank the following. Father Felix, we, in a special way, would like to give a vote of thanks because of accepting to come and celebrate this mass for our mom. Second, we also would like to, to appreciate in a special way Dr. Guru kindly accept our sincere gratitude for the help and support you have accorded our family when mom was ailing and after her demise. Be blessed. The other one goes to Mr. Kuri Agadoni. Thank you so much for the, mass, the massive support and the moral encouragement during this time. We honor and appreciate you. Be blessed. The other one goes to Generic Africa. Thank you for your massive support. Also, we can't forget our Aniko Gugi, Tatawajiko, Ninawangui and our cousins. We thank you for being there for us in this time of need. We truly appreciate you 
Let us continue to unite as one family. Kore pare ya muati persons. Thank you for massive support and moral encouragement. The other one is to Nanopi Water Staff. Thank you, friends, colleagues. We are truly touched by your tremendous support. Also, to our close buddies, kindly accept our special gratitude for the support and encouragement. Kore relatives aito kumakadara asanteni sana for the support, even taking time to come home to mourn with us. Nyodo kore just 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 and the group we appreciate you, sana. The other one is to the committee. Walikuwa na kutana kukeambu, kerigiti. We really appreciate for your time, your kite and your generosity. May God bless you because of ensuring today we have this day. Then also there is young men. Hare amana atu wakeide nyupa, hare atu kutiko iga mam. Accept your, accept our gratitude. May God bless you abundantly. And finally, to all of us, can I do it with the? Nice nikumu kobera damu kobera. Ogit koroni ugu dino unyone, wabe ojo keri. Kawadu, totike tie teri, hare atweje te irima. Na mashisi ni kurudisa iyo mchanga. So nataka kuwa kopesha iyo. Tuki marisia uchukue. Kwa sababu sitakuwa na nafasi ingine ya kurudi hapa. Dio niseme haya. Na mungu atawabariki. Kwa hivyo tuki marisia hapa. Sisi wote taenda pare chini. Kumweka kwa kanyuba yake. Ile ya taenderea kuhishi. Asante ni sana. Na mungu atawabariki. Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati mimi sina mengi kwa sababu sikuwa na mjua ista. Nasema poleni wana familia. And in a special way I thank Lucas Kibe. I think you are the first son for connecting your mother to me. Na sante kwa kule ambapo ulikuja. Ukaliongea na mimi. Yo sababu ni kwa hapa kama siyo Lucas. I sure you could not be here. So Lucas Asante Sana. Na thank you, the whole of the family. Live in peace and harmony. That's what I will tell you. Kisimame wote. Leo tunamsindikisha mama yetu Esther Wangoi Kife katika safari yake ya mwisho hapa duniani. Mungu alimpa maisha ya dunia na sasa amemuita ili ampe maisha ya mbinguni asiyo na mwisho. Mwili wake tumeweka ardhini kama mbegu ya mwili uliotukuka na roho yake ingie katika raha ya milele. Tunakuomba e Bwana Mpoke huyu mama yetu Esther Wamboi Kife katika uzima wa milele na utawala wako. Apate furaha isiyo na mwisho na kukaa miongoni mwa watakatifu wote daima na milele. Sasa tumpeleke mama yetu Esther Wamboi Kife katika kaburi lake. Tuamini kuwa siku moja tutakutana naye katika uzima mpya.
Bwana awanani Mungu baba Mwenyezi apende kuwabariki baba mwana na roho mtakatifu Tendeni na amani misa yetu imekwisha Kwa hivyo hatuwasti time wenye mnachukua mwili mchukue kamileke kwa grave Family na atapita ile ni kwa mwili
Esther wewe ni vumbi umerudi kuwa vumbi lakini Bwana atakufufua siku ya mwisho
so 